Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. If you are facing issues with how to build a custom WooCommerce website with your own sidebars, today's video walks you through step by step what you need to do so you can set up on your own business. Let's go deeper. Here's my plugin list, the Cadence blocks, the Cadence Pro add-on to use with the free Cadence team, WooCommerce and classic widgets to restore the classic WordPress widget settings screen. If you're running a WooCommerce shop as I'm doing here, product categories are the primary way to group similar products, as you know. Categories are managed from the WooCommerce tab, products, all product. I've grouped the items and I call it dish as my category. Tags are another way to relate products to each other next to product categories. Contrary, contrary to categories, there is no hierarchy in tags. And by default, every time you create a tag, WordPress by default creates a separate archive page that lists all the products using that tag. I will be using this functionality in my new shop page design later. For example, the product tags. And I have assigned tags for my dish category. This way, users can easily search and find all the dishes related to that specific meal. We can replace this default WooCommerce shop page. Upon installation, WooCommerce creates four default new pages. So, opening WooCommerce tab and in the Settings tab, Advanced tab, we list all the three pages, the cart to show the cart contents, the checkout to show information about payment and shipments, and my account page to show detailed information related to orders and their account, and finally the shop page is set up under products. So we will create custom pages for the shop and for the product page. To use for the shop page, we first need to create a new page. So go to your WordPress admin and create a new shop page and I call it store. The second step is to go to WooCommerce product settings tab and to set up the new page. So within the product tab, I choose my new store page name and save. Now we begin with the design and setup of my new store page with a custom sidebar. First, I want to activate the WooCommerce review system. Reading positive reviews and testimonials helps you get more sales and decrease your conversion rate. So to enable within WooCommerce, head over to WooCommerce settings, products tab. Scroll down to the review section and select it. Enable product review checkbox. The show verify the owner labels on customer reviews if you want to enable this way. Verified users are those who have purchased the product and have it in the order history. Now that we have enabled reviews in the back end, the review form will be displayed at the storefront and your customers will be able to fill it. So let's do for these products. I leave here my quick comments and click on add comments. Now refresh the page and now it displays on the front end. Cool. So I open the new shop page and then add it in WordPress editor. I added a two row layout with with this size and then drag the column so you get the 2018 width. This is the Cadence Team container. It has two columns. The left column on the left in the left column I had the the WooCommerce filter by price block. This is part of WooCommerce. It works with the new WordPress editor, the Gutenberg, and you can insert you can insert here in the block is in the block inserter. To the right column had it products by text for easing browsing. You easily recognize when this is from WooCommerce by with this icon color. There you go. 
My next step is to display this page as a menu item in my primary navigation, so customers can easily find my products. So head over to the Appearance menu sub-item, select your new shop page and click on Add to Menu button. There you go, cool! Now I want to add a new blog to my left shop page sidebar, so navigate over to WordPress Admin, Page tabs and click on the new shop page and click on edit with WordPress. We are going to edit inside the WordPress editor. Inside Gutenberg, select the left column and then click on the plus icon, the block inserter to choose the block. This time I had a product search for. Update. Cool. I like it. Now it's time to make our custom sidebar for the product page. First we must tell in the Catas theme settings the layout we want to go with. So navigate over to Appearance, Customize and then select the WooCommerce section. Then select the single product layout. Under the product layout you determine whether you want to the left or right sidebar for your product page. I want a left sidebar. Sidebar area areas are determined by the team. Make sure the team supports widgets. Widgets are blocks of content that have a feature or a function to the site without having to write any code. Under the General tab, you determine the sidebar settings. And I also had a sidebar, a sidebar background color. I also adjust the sidebar padding to 2M unit. Then go back to in the customizer to start add the sidebar elements. Click on the sidebar 1 and add a widget. I want to add additional information related to my customers while they are viewing the product page, like a cuisine style of cooking. To achieve this I want to add two text widgets one for the ingredient lists and the other for the used cooking technique. So I had a text widget from the list. I call it cooking technique. The text widgets are very useful. It comes from WordPress. You can also embed media files by selecting this head media button to upload from your library or from your comp computer. You close the text widget by clicking the down arrow to the right. I inserted a second text widget. To stylize this sidebar, go back twice and find General Sidebar. In the Design tab, it has been all set. No need to add nothing. I like the way it is. Checking now for mobiles. I click on this mobile control button to the bottom. I'm scrolling down the product page. Everything is well aligned and working fine. The text widgets are displayed to the bottom. Great! Going back to the desktop view mode. Additional, you can also enable the sticky head to cart feature. This is great for any product page design. So, to enable it, just click once under the single product page section and publish. Now I scroll down the page. So there you go. Amazing, yeah? If you enjoy watching this video, please take a second to subscribe to this channel. It's free. It means a lot to me. It takes only one second and don't forget to smash the bell so you get notified whenever I release new content. Thank you so much for watching. I see you in my next video.